Hey guys, what's up? This is Vishu from Geek Starts. So in the last video, I just gave you a brief description of the AWS dashboard. So now we are going to launch a virtual machine. So you can either launch it directly using this builder solution box, or I prefer to go in the services and select EC2. So this would give me the EC2 dashboard, which is only specific to the elastic compute and not all the features on AWS that we were seeing in the previous page. So if you click on EC2, it will take you to this dashboard where you'll get all the information about your virtual machines. I don't know why this is taking so much time. Okay, so these are all the details of your EC2 instances and all the features that it has and this is a brief description of whatever is going on so i don't have any running instances i don't have any dedicated host i have six volumes volumes here stands for a hard disk i have four snapshots we'll talk about this later and i have three security groups and one key pair so without further ado let's just create an instance so click on launch an instance or you can go to instances and launch an instance from here this instances will also give you the instances that you always like you already have created uh, these are the one that i created last to last month i guess i was just trying to create a web server on the cloud so click on launch instance and it will take you to a page where you have to select the operating system so this is not an actual os this is an image of the os so you don't have to install anything this image has everything pre-configured and all it is going to do is like put like paste that image on your virtual machine so it won't take like half an hour or an hour that it usually takes to create like install an operating system this operating system is already there we are just going to attach it to a virtual machine and for this tutorial we are going to use the amazon linux which is a red hat distribution so select this uh, 64 bit is okay and then it will ask you to select the type and always use t2 micro because this is eligible for free tire so you get like 750 hours of micro instances each month so that you don't have to pay for your first year after that it will start asking you to pay for it but for the first year every month you have 750 hours of free uh, like free usage so select the t2.micro uh, you have one gig memory one vcpu don't click on review and launch this would just launch your instance we are going to configure this instance so click on next and it will take you to the details so if you want multiple instances with the same image and same settings you can change it over here but we are just going to need one instance uh, at the moment i'm going to keep the network as the default subnet would be no preference and auto assign ip should don't change any of these settings now uh, make sure your shutdown behavior is stop and not terminate so if you select terminate as your shutdown behavior and you right click on your instance and stop it or like ask him to shut down it would actually erase the instance so terminate is like erasing and stop is like shutting down so make sure it is stop and click on add storage so it would by default give you give you an 8 gb storage and you if you want you can increase the size but 8 gb is more than enough for a server that we are going to create so we can also add tag so this is so we can uh this is just for your use so you know which machine is this so just name this as class fish postgresql so glassfish is our java server that we would be using to deploy the java application and postgres sql is the database that this instance is going to have volume just leave it 
so now we have to configure the security group this is like the gateway to your machine if you remove the ssh you'll never be never be able to log in into your machine so this would by default be always there the source is custom 0.0.0.0/0 which means that anyone from anywhere in the world can connect you can also select my ip which would take your public ip you can also select anywhere which is the same thing but uh, at this moment we'll keep it as custom so we don't only need ssh to get into the machine we will also be needing a couple of ports for glass fish so what we need to do is select all tcp or custom tcp and the port for glass fish admin is 4848 the port for glass fish http is 8080 and the port for glass fish https is 8181 and we also need a postgres sql so we the port number is i guess 5432 we can change this later and what this is saying that rules with 0, 0.0 allow all ip addresses to access your instance we recommend setting security groups rules to allow access from known ip addresses only but if you are using a dhcp if your isp has given you a dhcp server which most probably it has your ip will always keep changing so if you know what your ip is going to be you can select your ip address or you can also like do a custom and put your ip address and your subnet i'm not going to explain what these are right now but these are like the ports that are open on your instances so you can connect to the instance so we are going to create a new security group let's name this last fish and launch wizard let's change this to security oh glass fish and now you can launch and it will give you uh uh anywhere 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 custom as in you have to put something over there if I select anywhere, it usually takes all the IP addresses. So if you do review and launch now, it would give you a description of the instance that it is going to create. So the image is going to be Amazon Linux. The instance type is t2.micro. The security groups. So you have, these are I think IPv6 addresses. And yeah, these are IPv6 addresses. So there are two rules, one for IPv4 and one for IPv6 because there are some companies which are giving out ipv6 addresses so if you only select the ipv4 if you have someone who's who has an ipv6 address he can't log in into your machine so instance details so we are going to create one instance with the default vpc and storage so there's 8 gb of root and tags is glassfish postgres sql so now we are going to click launch and it will give me an option to select an existing key pair or create a new one so what is this key pair so whenever amazon creates your machine it would delete the password that it has it will never create password for you and once it the machine is like ready to be launched it will give you a key pair it will ask you if you want to use an existing key pair or if you want to create a new one since i have already used that i have a couple of key pairs but if you don't have that you will most probably have create create a new key pair so you have to name this something so that you can remember this and you need to download this before downloading you can't launch the instance only when you click download it will get downloaded in your machine and only then you can launch the instance now the most important thing that you should remember about this is you cannot log in into your machine without this key this 
is a private key that you have and the public key is with the instance so every time you try to go in the instance it will ask you for this key so you need to save this key what i usually do is email myself this key so if i, I am at a friend's place i can just go to my email and download the key and log in and do some stuff if i want to do so always keep this secured in a place because without this you cannot log in and i am serious amazon will not create a copy of this key for itself you cannot recover your account if you lost this key not your account your instance so click on launch instance and it will take a minute and your instance would be created this is the name of your instance if you click on this it will directly take you to the instance dashboard and you can see that it is initializing the state is pending you can see all the details of the instance over here you can see the public dns this is what we would use to log in and let me see if we can check the instance settings so when you do get system log it will show you what is going on in the system or the virtual machine so nothing nothing is going on right now so i'll just pause this video oh it's running so your machine is up and running you have the public dns you have the public ip v4 address you have the private dns so if you want to connect it would give you all the instructions so i would go over this in the next video so this is how you create an instance in aws make sure you keep your key safe because i have lost it and you don't want to do all of the stuff that you just did again when you have configured your instance properly